Ever wish you could play your favorite Steam PC games right on your Android phone? Imagine playing full desktop games that are installed and running directly on your phone. Well, that's exactly what GameUp does. GameUp is an Android app that lets you install and run real PC games directly on your mobile device. Unlike cloud gaming platforms such as GeForce Now or Xbox Cloud, GameHub doesn't rely on internet connection to stream your games. Instead, it uses something called x86 emulation. Basically, it recreates a mini PC environment inside your Android phone. Your games run locally through a compatibility layer like Wine or Proton, which is the same technology used on Steam Deck and Linux systems to make Windows games playable. That means when you play using GameHub, the game files are fully installed on your phone, and everything from the graphics rendering to the control happens locally on your hardware. In this video, I'll show you step by step how to set up GameHub on Android, link it with your Steam account, and get your PC games running right on your phone. By the end, you'll have a clear idea of what works well and what doesn't, and how far Android emulation has come. So, let's get started. GameHub is one of the easiest ways to run PC games on Android. But to make it run smoothly, you'll need a powerful phone. I'm using OnePlus 10T with 16GB of RAM, powered by Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 processor. Now, let's start the setup. First, head to the official GameUp website and download the latest APK. It's completely free. Once downloaded, open the file and install it. After installation, launch the app and accept the terms of service. On first launch, GameHub will ask you to sign in. You can use your email, Google or Apple ID. I recommend signing up with email since it's more private. Just enter your email address and you'll receive a verification code. Type that code here and your GameUp account will be created instantly. Once that's done, you are ready to link your Steam account. Now, let's connect Steam to GameUp. Go to My tab. Tap on Steam. Then choose Sign in to Steam. You can either enter your username and password or if you have the Steam app installed, just scan the QR code. It's faster and more secure. Once you are signed in, your Steam profile and all your own games will appear inside GameUp. You can now browse your entire library, search for any title and install games directly on your phone. For this demo, I'll be installing Dishonored. Just tap Get Game on its page and confirm to download. Make sure you have enough internal storage because this will download the full PC game files. Keep GameUp open while the download completes. When it's finished, you'll see a green tick mark, which means the game is perfectly supported and ready to play. You can launch it right away, no need to tweak any compatibility settings. To play the game, you can connect a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse and control it just like on a PC. This setup works especially well for shooters like Dishonored. You get precise aim and quick input right on your phone. GameUp also supports most Bluetooth controllers, including Xbox, PlayStation and others. You can pair your controller from the app before launching your game. And if you don't have one, don't worry. GameHub includes on-screen gamepad controls that you can use with touchscreen. Alright, now let's see how Dishonored actually performs on my OnePlus 10T using GameUp. When I launched the game for the first time, GameUp automatically started downloading a few essential components such as Proton, DXVK, VKD3D, Box64 and Turnip GPU driver. These are the background tools that make Windows games work on Android. Just let them complete, it only takes a minute, and once these files are installed, GameUp remembers them for all future games. After those downloads finished, the game launched smoothly without any crashes.
The game is running at 720p resolution. It's playable but not perfectly smooth. I'm getting around 20 to 30 frames per second depending on what's happening on screen. So it's not as fluid as on a PC or Steam Deck. But it's still very impressive considering this is full x86 emulation running directly on Android. If you look at the performance overlay at the bottom, you can see real-time stats for FPS, CPU and GPU usage. The Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 in my OnePlus 10T handles the load pretty well. Visually, the game looks great on the AMOLED display. The shadows, lighting and textures render beautifully. For controls, I'm using my Bluetooth mouse and keyboard, which feel pretty responsive and accurate. Mouse tracking is smooth and keyboard input is instant. If you prefer a gamepad, you can also use an Xbox or PlayStation controller. Both work perfectly with Game Hub. Attention, the solitary wing is off limits to maintenance crews unless accompanied by an officer of the watch. Escort through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice. Even though it's not running at high FPS, it's still amazing to see a full AAA PC game like Dishonored playing natively on Android. And since GameUp supports Steam Cloud saves, you can sync your progress and continue right where you left on your desktop PC. Alright, now let's talk about how you can improve performance in GameHub, especially if your game feels low, laggy or crashes. GameHub usually applies a recommended profile automatically for each game, but you can fine-tune the settings for better results. To do that, open your game page. Tap the three dots next to the title and select PC Game Settings. First, set the resolution to 720p. This gives you the best balance between visuals and performance. If you still notice lag, you can lower it further for extra FPS. Next, under DirectX HUD, choose Simple or turn it off completely if you don't want that overlay on your screen. Now, go to the Compatibility tab. Under Compatibility layer, select Proton 10.0 ARM64 X2. This version gives you the best stability and compatibility with most Steam games. Next. Open the Translation Parents section. Here, set the mode to Performance or Extreme for higher frame rates. Now scroll down to the GPU driver list. On Snapdragon phones, the default driver is usually Turnip underscore V25.0.0 underscore R1. You can also try Turnip V25.3.0 R8, which performs slightly better on newer games. If you run into any visual glitches, just switch back to Adreno or System Driver. Next, under DXVK version, select DXVK V2.7.1 1 Async. This translates DirectX 9, 10, and 11 graphics into Vulkan for smoother gameplay. For VKD 3D version, pick VKD 3D 2.12. This one handles DirectX 12 games reliably on Android and helps prevent crashes. Finally, Scroll down to the GPU Translator section. For best performance, choose the latest FEX build available, usually the one at the top of the list. FEX is the new CPU translation engine that replaces Box64. Once you have adjusted all these settings, go back and restart your game to apply them. You should see a small but noticeable boost in FPS and overall smoother gameplay experience. Of course, not every game will run this well. I also installed Counter-Strike 2, which is one of the most demanding modern titles built on Valve's Source 2 engine. To my surprise, the game launched perfectly fine. No crashes, no errors. As you can see, the main screen and menus loaded just like on PC.
Now let's start a match and see how it works. Once the match began, the frame rates dropped dramatically, hovering between 1 to 5 FPS. The gameplay was extremely laggy and practically unplayable. However, the game itself didn't crash. Everything technically worked, but the Android hardware just isn't powerful enough to handle such a heavy, next-gen PC game through emulation. So while older games like Dishonored or Skyrim are quite playable, modern games like Counter-Strike 2 are still far too demanding. This clearly shows that GameUp is best suited for older or mid-range Steam games. If you try GameUp yourself, let me know in the comments which games you played and how they performed on your device. Your experience might help other viewers too. Got questions? Drop them below and I'll try to help. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe for more gaming and tech tutorials. Thanks for watching and happy gaming.